In this video, I'll show you how to create subtitles and captions in Premiere Pro CC. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my video content and you get value from what you watch, kindly consider subscribing. I'm inside Premiere Pro CC, and uh, the basics that I need here to do is just add my video file, and uh, here's my video file. I can just drag and drop it uh, into the project bin, and just uh, drop it in there to start off a new sequence. So we can just expand our audio because audio is very important when it comes to creating subtitles. Next, we'll need uh, to create uh, a new item. Just click on this particular option here. Click on captions. And then you have a bunch of options to choose from. These are broadcast uh, standard uh, captions, CEA 608, and this is more or less like the analog uh, captions for the old televisions where they just supported uh, just a black uh, background, white text, no positioning, nothing. And uh, there's a character limit of about 32 characters per, per line. Uh, this, you may choose this, but I don't like how the uh, subtitles look like when you're working on them inside uh, Premiere Pro. There's also CEA 708. Uh, it's uh, the advanced version of 608. Uh, this supports uh, positioning, colors, different colors for the subtitles, etc. Teletext, open subtitling, uh, the Australian version. And the Australian version is very important because according to research, it has been based that one in six Australians are, are deaf or have a problem with hearing. And therefore, Captions really come in handy, especially when you want to improve on accessibility of content. Next up, if people cannot understand what you're saying, then captions really add value to your videos. Finally, somebody may be in a busy area, let's say uh, going home uh, via train, on an airplane, and just want uh, to consume the content without disturbing other people. The easiest option is to read along uh, as, you, uh, as you speak. So for this video, we'll go with open captions. Uh, and the thing I like about open captions is that the subtitles will be permanently burned into the video. So that's what we're going to work with. And our time base, uh, this is like uh, what frames our video is in. It's in 30 frames per second. And then the video settings are in 1280 by 720. So the pixel, uh, you can choose whatever you want to choose here. But I'll just go with the default and click on OK. And once I do that, uh, we'll have a new item here, which is the open captions. And all I can do is just hold it and drag it to a timeline above here. And uh, by default, uh, you'll see that it uh, brings up the option to type caption text here. Uh, I can also just move this slightly and, and then expand this. Uh, I'll just uh, press on the plus key so that we can uh, have this expanded. We can just move it, the minus key. So we can just move it to the end. Uh, so you, we can see our text here. And if I press on the plus key again, uh, we'll just see the box saying type caption text here. If I double click on it, what I want us to do now is just click on the captions pane. Here we have it. And it's the type captions here. So what I'll need to do, and uh, this is just basics of subtitling, uh, just make sure that this particular text begins at this particular section. So I'll just hold it and just drag it to that particular section there. Now, once it's there, let's just play. With the recent update on the YouTube interface. And uh, the text goes like, with the recent update on the YouTube interface. So we can just listen again. With the recent update on the YouTube interface. So let's say we just wanted to get up to that particular section. Now, once you're satisfied with that, let's say you wanted to get up to that particular section, then we can just come up here and then click on this particular plus. If you click on the plus, it's going to add a new caption box. So we can just move this or drag this along and then listen again. It's now easier than before to download. And then we type, it's now easier than before 
to download then you keep going let's just add another one and once you click on the plus down here it has another caption box there and then we can just uh, move along slightly uh, just there and uh, we can just try and position this where we want it because one thing about subtitles is that and captions they need to be synchronized to the audio now if you've noticed that this process is extremely tedious especially when you're working on uh, long content this is just a three minute uh, audio file so you may need to use uh, automatic captions maybe download them from youtube either using applications like auto ai descript happy scribe etc you can just check out video tutorials on my channel about automatic transcription and captioning so we can just double click on this again uh, and just listen to it again youtube transcripts uh, that was a short one so it's just youtube transcripts uh, and then you can just click on the plus again to keep adding now if i can just go back to the start with the recent update on the youtube interface it's now easier than before to download youtube transcripts it looks pretty good so uh, for this one we can just bring it up to here uh, where the uh, text uh, or the audio ends so that we just don't have a text lying around without displaying anything uh, and that is one important quality of uh, uh, well written uh, subtitles and captions they need to be available when uh, content or audio narration is going on so I'll just do those three lines but that's the process of creating subtitles and captions till the end so you have to do that until you get to the very end uh, of this particular uh, uh, track or sections where you want to have the subtitles and captions available let's go back to uh, the home and you'll see how your subtitles will be appearing uh, in the subtitle track as these particular options always remember that uh, if you just uh, highlight this and move it uh, without uh, really knowing what you're doing you're going to either mess uh, the, the particular synchronization or something of the sort so you'll just keep adding and uh, typing in the text as you need it until you're done so once you're done for this particular video let's say I want to export the captions just uh, click on uh, this particular media bin just come to file export captions so just come here subrip include SRT styling uh, really doesn't make any difference because this uh, SRT is just a basic subtitle uh, format just click OK and then you can just decide uh, where you want it uh, to go let's say let's say this particular section and you can just title it uh, whatever name you want easily download Premiere Pro .srt and just click on save and if we check our folder easily download just double click on it we'll have our subtitles available uh, in the particular uh, subtitle file that we just prepared so that's how you create subtitles and captions in Premiere Pro CC now one thing that I must have forgot to mention is that with open captions these uh, you can style the captions the way you want them to look like so for example you can click on this particular caption uh, and decide hey I want this particular caption to go up here and it's going to go up there if you go to the next section it's going to be available down here the other section is going to be available down here and why this is important is because open captions are meant to be permanently banned in the video and and that's why we I started off with them and also mentioned the other versions the CE EA 608 and CEA 708 don't really look that good when you're working with them inside here so if you want to have positioning for the subtitles then using captions is what I'd recommend and open captions and this supports also styling you can add a different font uh, for this let's say we go with uh, give or take articulate and you'll see the subtitle change and then we can go with the size of like let's say 36 
so if we just go back you can see the subtitle uh, is just bigger come here this is smaller so you'll need to do that uh, but you can also change this in the uh, import settings and all that so that you have a uniform look and feel throughout but if you just want to change the positioning of the text you can do that and also uh, let's just click on that you can change the background background color let's just choose let's say we go with something like a yellow maybe something like that let's click OK and you see what happens but this is not applicable to anything else it's just this particular uh, subtitle file that you're working with uh, really depends on your taste uh, let's just go back to black that's how uh, you can do it using open captions for the CE8 or the other versions available it's not possible to do this particular of uh, particular options uh, of styling and all that what's default it's what you work with so that's it from me that's how you create subtitles and captions in Premiere Pro CC thank you for watching this video until next time stay safe and never stop learning thank you so much for watching this video